now that we've got the board moving about and we've got the pipes going from the right hand side of the screen to the left hand side of the screen and the, the bird and the pipe sprites are interacting the next thing we need to do is to add a score and work out how exactly are we going to calculate the scores and work out uh, if a point should be awarded or not so again using the when I start as a clone control brick we're going to say that every time the pipe starts as a clone we want to check something and what we're going to check is we're going to be checking if and we're going to be checking the x position of the pipe so again we're going to be going to do motion we need the x position of the pipe and we want to be checking is that less than zero so we're going to use from the operators we're going to choose the less than brick so we're going to put the x position of the pipe in there and we're going to say if the x position is less than zero so if the x position of this of the pipe is let this will be zero here so if it gets to the left hand side of the screen we are going to assume that flappy has passed through the pipe and should be awarded a point the first thing we need to do now is we need to create a variable we're going to make a variable by clicking on data and select make a variable we're going to give it a sensible name such as score we're going to make it available for all sprites and I'm going to click on cloud variable just in case I want to save it and store to create a, later, a leaderboard later, uh, later on then what you do is you click on OK we've got the score and what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to set the score so I change the score by 1 so if the x position of the pipe is less than 0 we want to change the score by 1 now what this is going to do at the minute is every time a new clone is generated it is going to check at that point in time so it's going to check right at the start when the, the pipe is going to be over here and obviously it's not going to be less than zero so what we need to do is work out how we can get it to check somewhere in this section of the screen has the pipe reached this section of the screen so we know it takes three seconds for the pipe to move from here to here so if we check at around about the two second mark we should have a good idea that the flappy bird has actually succeeded and managed to get through the pipe successfully. So I'm going to drag that in there. I'm going to change that to wait two seconds. And that is now going to say when I said as a clone, wait two seconds and then check if the X position of the of the pipe is less than zero so i.e. is it in the left hand side of the screen and if that's true they then want we want it to um, change the score by one and that's going to happen every time a new clone is generated so every time flappy successfully flies through a pipe that will keep on adding on the score and then what we want to do to finish that off is we are obviously going to have to set the score to zero when the game actually starts so we click on events we don't actually have to, we can actually put it on up here. So I'm going to go to data and I'm going to set score to zero whenever the game is started. So when the green flag is clicked. So what should happen now? Score should be set to zero and let's see if the numbers work out correctly. Every time Flabby successfully flies through uh, the pipes, he'll get a point. Now you will notice that this, the point isn't actually awarded until Flabby is well through the pipe see so we could change the timing and make it wait instead of two seconds we could change to 1.7 and that should hopefully bring us somewhere to round about the time in the game where flappy is actually going through the gap in the pipe i'll see if we can get past two of them now so you can actually see it so square is reset to zero, which is good. Through the first one, through the second one. So you can see now it's, it's counting every time we successfully get through a pipe. So that's going to keep on adding up the score so we can get a final score at the end of the game.